Biotin, otherwise known as vitamin B7 or vitamin H, is just another one of those vitamins that your body needs but can't make on its own. Biotin helps convert certain nutrients like fats and carbohydrates into energy, has a role in gene expression and cell signaling, but it's more widely praised for and known for its role in the health of your hair, skin, and nails. In this video, we'll look at what biotin is, how much biotin you really need, biotin deficiency, and the million dollar question, does biotin help with hair growth? So stay tuned till the end. Hi guys, you've seen Arsene Media Pharmacist here on YouTube. This week's video is on biotin. Smash the like button below now as there's a lot of useful information in this video that I know that can benefit you. And if you haven't already subscribed, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button too, as I try to bring you the best quality health and wellness content as I can. So without further ado, let's talk biotin. Biotin is found in meat, fish, nuts, seeds, and vegetables, and even sweet potatoes. I left a link in the description for more foods you could get biotin from. The National Institute of Health's Office of Dietary supplements recommends that adults get 30 micrograms of it each day which is 0.00003 grams doesn't sound like much right exactly because you really don't need much biotin at all to stay healthy and support the hair skin and nails this explains why biotin deficiency is so rare because chances are you already are getting enough biotin from your diet this is not to discredit biotin deficiency as a real cause of concern because factors like mutations pregnancy and even smoking especially in women all contribute to biotin deficiency which I'll get into. But what about adding more of it and taking larger amounts of it to support my hair, skin, and nails? Many people are doing just this. They're increasing the intake of, in hopes of additional hair benefits. But hold up. It doesn't work in this way because it's a water-soluble vitamin, which means the body will use up what it needs and extra biotin will simply pass through your body and get flushed out when you go pee. So bottom line, there's no reason to believe if you have normal biotin levels that you'll get more benefits if you take extra biotin. But what does that mean though? To answer that question, we have to look at what biotin is actually responsible for and if it does anything for hair in the first place. What actually makes up hair? It's called keratin and it's a key structural protein that also makes your nails and skin. Biotin is believed to improve the structure of keratin, so keep that in mind. Basically, biotin makes keratin work better and you have two parties telling you two different things. The scientists have theorized that by taking more biotin, you essentially improve the structure of your keratin, improving the quality of your hair to make it grow. Which, by the way, is why so many companies are trying to sell you biotin for hair growth. Dermatologists, however, say that looking at all the data, there's little to no evidence to prove that this actually works. Which is why the NIH reports insufficient data to support supplementation, especially if you're not deficient in biotin. And the only way to know if you are biotin deficient is to have your plasma biotin levels measured. The normal biotin blood plasma levels range from 200 to 1200 nanograms per liter, with an optimal level of 400 to 500 nanograms per liter in younger adults and children. A biotin deficiency occurs when the plasma plasma biotin levels below 100. So if your levels are below 100, which may occur in pregnancy, your doctor may have you on biotin supplements or recommend a diet change at this point to correct it. But apart from this, for the million dollar question, would I recommend biotin supplements? Personally, no, as I like taking nutrients from food sources and to be real with you guys, there are a lot more better options out there for treating hair loss that are proven to treat the underlying cause. Hair loss is a typically biological process that a vast majority of vitamins are not going to stop. So if you're experiencing hair loss, talk to a dermatologist or healthcare provider to see if things like lifestyle changes, vitamin D, finasteride, and even minoxidil could be good solutions for you. Interesting to note when I was doing research on this topic, the protein called avidin would come up often. Avidin is found in egg whites and it blocks the absorption of biotin. So people who regularly consume a large number of raw eggs and boiled eggs may become biotin deficient. Researchers noted that cooked egg whites above 185 degrees Fahrenheit denatured avidin, so did not bind to biotin. Let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comments below. One very last important tip that I would leave you guys with is since the recommended amount of biotin is 30 micrograms each day, most biotin supplements on shelves provide much higher doses than this, and you've probably seen it. Some up to even 10,000 micrograms per dose. Although this isn't toxic, as it's a water soluble vitamin, very high levels of biotin can alter the results of blood tests, including hormone and heart tests, creating false positives or false negative test results. So please, please always let your doctor and healthcare team know 
before getting any labs done if you take biotin. It's best to always let them know that whenever you do take and start an herbal product or supplement as this can interact with other medications and it's just for good practice. I hope this video was useful to you guys and that I hope that you do share with someone you know who could benefit from it. I also hope that you find adequate and safe relief in your hair loss journey. Like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to stay on board with all my other weekly health and wellness videos. Thanks for sticking tuned all the way till the end and as always, see you on the next one.